Guys, we're gonna have an adventure today. We've got some buried treasure back here that we're gonna take out and show you what we're gonna do with it. We got a new piece of equipment we're gonna test out, a chainsaw mill. You pulled out some buried treasure. I did. <laughs> buried this in is, the snow. This is uh, gold. Uh, we're, we're trying out a brand new product today, and it is a chainsaw lumber mill. So, yeah, yeah. we're going to show so, you guys all about it. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll unbox it, we'll uh, show you the quality of it, how it puts together, and then how it runs. We upgraded uh, Brian's chainsaw as well. Yes, <laughs> my little. Uh, 16 or 18 inch or wasn't going to cut it so yeah. so we got a chainsaw upgrade and we're going to put it to the test with this new chainsaw lumber mill i'm going to get the bark off and then uh, might even pressure wash them make sure we get all of the any debris so yeah excited to show you guys we are testing out the zozen chainsaw mill yeah, it's pretty nice looking uh, mill. I've never used one before. I've always wanted to use one. Uh, I think it's a nice alternative to getting a big bandsaw mill, which is can be quite pricey. Maybe overkill for us since we're just right. using them for select projects here and there. Right, right, for sure. Uh, I know you had looked at a little bit online, but you're kind of when you open up the box, you're excited to see. I was. First of all, it was super well uh, in, uh, packed, packaged together. This uh, high dense foam to package it all, so it's really well protected. Uh, but it's made with uh, a lot of extruded aluminum for the guide rails, which I thought was really good. Uh, and I actually been looking for uh, extruded aluminum for other projects, uh, like doing a, um, a rack for the truck. And uh, it's a very strong material, so I was really happy about that. It also helps lighten the mill up a little bit because there are some steel parts, uh, which is important obviously for some rigidity. But uh, the the two main brackets here are steel, and then uh, the actual clamps for the chainsaw are made of steel with chrome. Got all the uh, measurement guides on them. So this is what it looks like out of the box. Right. So uh, so your main sled has extension kits. So you can extend it from 16 inches up to 26 inches and then up to 36 inches. So if you've got a really long bar on your chainsaw, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can do some big slabs, I suspect. So yeah. uh, 
Also comes with a tool kit. Uh, so tool kit, a uh, couple different wrenches uh, for the different various nuts and bolts on it. Uh, and then uh, Allen key for the set screws for the, all the extensions. Uh, a little bag of spare parts uh, with extra set screws and so on. Uh, and then some uh, felling wedges. So as you're as you're uh, cutting the slabs, you can uh, slide those wedges in to keep the keep the piece uh, braced up, so you're not pinching the saw. So, and then uh, also uh, this little uh, protector goes. You wrap it around. It gets connected to the end, so that you're uh, covering the sort of covering the blade, uh, the saw blade from the outside. Yeah, and then, and then the handle. So the handle gets mounted on here, so that when you've got your hand on the saw and your hand on the the mill itself, uh, you can put some even pressure on it. So, mm -hmm. and then there's another thing that the pro you can get separately, which is going to be helpful for right. running it. Right, right, exactly. So they did send us the the mill rail guide as a uh, add-on. All right, so I've I've modified the rail guide just a little bit. Uh, it's made specifically to put a two by four on. Uh, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to buy two by fours uh, before after leaving work the other day, and I, it's a long drive to get two by fours. So, um, so normally you just put the two by four in here, uh, and then bridge from one to the other. So there's two of these. They mount right on the end of the log, and we'll show you how we do that later. Uh, what I did was I mounted a, a piece of angle iron on here so that I can use my ladder. So my ladder will sit on here. I'll clamp it right on and that will act as the bridge from one end of the log to the other and as for the, uh, the sled guide to make the first cut. So what's the next step? Uh, so the next step will be to put this together. Uh, I do need to trim the ends of the log so that they're square uh, and then, uh, then mount the, chain, the chainsaw in it and then start working. I'm excited about this project because I see applications for yeah. being able to have more canvas material for my art. <laughs> So right. if you haven't seen it in the past, I've been taking planks of wood from our scrap pile and then turning them into um, custom art with real flowers and beeswax. So I love to see, be able to use that to make more planks. Uh, materials, infinity. Materi <laughs> materials galore, that's yeah. what I was gonna say, so. Well, we've had a couple of logs under the snow. Brian's pulled those out and now we're going to give it the test yeah. what, after we get assembled. Yeah. So not too terribly hard to adjust the sizes. No, not at all. I didn't cinch up any of the set screws, but... You know, if, you were, if you're going from a bigger size, maybe you're cutting a smaller log, then mm. it's pretty easy to take it apart. So. I see how that protector goes around the end of the saw tip there. Yep. So we got our rail guide up. <laughs> Who <laughs> using ever our, thought of using a ladder? Our ladder, yeah. I already have three of these, so. Okay. 
Perfect. Clamped it on there to your extended uh, angle iron brace. Yep. You know, use those some mini C clamps. All yeah. right. So it's not going to go in there. We got the the log braced from underneath, so there's no rotation. Yeah. So now I need to measure down from here to below this mark here. Because our first cut will be about seven and a half inches. Okay. Yeah. So then. So we need to adjust this. Okay. We need to adjust the saw height here to seven and a half. So you're getting a sense for the fit? Yeah. I need to go down a little bit more. So these rails rest on top of the ladder and then you're adjusting the height of your the blade. The blade of, okay. So. So looking at this wood, I'm seeing it's kind of got those blue streaks like the beetle kill pine. It's yeah, and those... you can see uh, towards the ends here where the bugs got in it. So mm. a little bit of character. Some people don't like that. Some people do. <laughs> yeah. That's how I envisioned it. Is it okay? Yeah. It'd be hey. uh, not as much zigzagging. <laughs> I see a nice little bench for outside. <laughs> I'm sure some of these we can make a bench out of. You know, sit out on our wall and look yeah. out at everything. Well, first impressions. Uh, I, I think it looks good. Okay. I think it works good. I, it was actually faster than I thought it would be. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Because I was a little seem... concerned it would take a long time to cut them. Mm -hmm. So it did seem like it was a little bit of a struggle, but how, well, how much time in total? I think the 10 minutes that took for one slab, maybe L less than 10 minutes. Per... I think the uh, it's a brand new saw. I think it needs to be tuned a little better. Oh, OK, I think that's the main issue. OK, so if the saw was working better, I think we would have just consistently gone through. OK, you could have done like a cut in five minutes. Yeah. Oh, OK, yeah. So now we can go do it. We can do another one. Well, it might be better just to cut slabs and I could square up each one individually. I cut it with a skill saw. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because that'd be faster. Yeah. Okay. So now I can just adjust the height of the bar, the sled, and then we just ride right on there. Mm -hmm. And I can cut one inch slabs. So now you don't need the ladder. I don't need the ladder. Okay. You only need the ladder the first shot. And what was the pro and the con of the ladder? The, the ladder width is very, it's three inches. Okay. So I had to start fairly high up. So I could adjust my jig a little bit maybe so that it's more compact. I, I thought the ladder worked great because, you know, it's, I already have a ladder. Well, you already have a ladder. Most people already have an aluminum ladder yeah. and it's lightweight. And it's pretty straight. It is. Not all bent, so yeah, it's, it's an easy way to. Little aluminum I beams on either side. So. Right. If we had a bigger log and I wanted to square it, then I would I'd mark it out, rotate it, mm -hmm. you know, keep rotating at 90 degrees until I get a nice square. But I really only need to, to cut off three sides and then you can do the rest down to the last one. Okay. So. It's pretty good. I mean, I think it's the quality is pretty good all the way. The I mean, it'd be good is, enough for what we're doing with it. Right. The cut's pretty even. Yeah. Right? There's not a lot of gouges or anything. Yeah. Nothing you couldn't sand out. No, or just leave it the way I could. I can uh, use the planer and plane it out. Right. 
So you're going to do another cut or what? Yeah, I'm going to okay. do another one right All now. All right, let's get a plank out of this puppy. Yeah. So I just need to adjust that. You ready for round two? Yeah, just about. So those are nice little wedges to kind of help you reduce friction. Yeah, keep it from pinching on the saw. Ooh, plank. Hey. So, so what I was thinking of doing is getting a a uh, planer. Yeah. Like a big 14 inch planer. Okay. And then I can just run them through. Oh yeah. That way I'll get it down. Also cut them a little thicker. I cut them an inch and a quarter. Okay. So that we'd have more space. So, so you could plane them down. It, uh, it was cutting very, very good. All right. Pretty uniform, I think. Okay, so that's the Zazen Chainsaw Lumber Mill. Yeah. <laughs> thumbs up. So Brian gives it a thumbs up. We've got our first plank cut officially. I think there's a lot more in our future. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. We get. We can get a ton out of this, probably a good six or seven out of this log by itself, even more, and then at least one more good log over there. So, so we'll have the link in the video description if you guys want to check it out. It's a nice, inexpensive, yet effective chainsaw mill if you guys want to experiment doing your own lumber.